The city's top doctor revealing today more than one Chicagoan is diagnosed with COVID-19 every minute. She's also reminding everyone it is not too late to change your plans for tomorrow. It's better to have a Zoom Thanksgiving than an ICU Christmas. <laughs> it's true, and I want you to think about that mm -hmm. as you're making your decisions, not just for Thursday, but for Black Friday, for the weekend that comes, and during the whole time that Chicago remains under that stay-at-home advisory. Despite that warning, we found travelers lined up at O'Hare Airport today. Scenes like this playing out at crowded airports across the country. CBS 2's Marissa Parra is live for us at O'Hare. Yeah, Marissa O'Hare is taking extra steps to keep all those holiday travelers and TSA workers safe. Brad Marie, I don't know if you can see behind me, but all of this congestion just started within the last hour or so. A TSA spokesperson actually just put out new numbers within the last hour as well, saying that in total yesterday, nearly 1 million people have traveled around the country for Thanksgiving so far. Now, for some perspective, that same day last year was two and a half million. So obviously, this is much less than years prior. However, still more than health officials would like. We did have a chance to speak to a few families fresh from a flight, but do not worry. We kept well over six feet of distance and we did all of our interviews outside. Now, all of these families were flying for Thanksgiving to see their families and all of them said they didn't really have concerns about COVID spread through travel as long as they had their masks on, which is why they decided to make the trek in the first place. But it was when I asked what the flights themselves were like, that's where everyone had a different take. It hasn't been horrible at all. And we had a nice flight from San Francisco to here. It was fine. When I flew out here, I flew out here in the spring and they had, you know, there was more space in between you, but we were, we were packed in like cattle. I want to say about half of our plane was empty, so a lot of us had our own rows. But for some, the concern is what happens while going through security, too. If you're going through TSA anytime soon, you might see some new measures like plexiglass, officers in PPE, and even touchless scanners to reduce personal contact. So far, 145 TSA agents at O'Hare have tested positive for COVID since the beginning of the pandemic. That is the second highest of all the airports in the country. The most recent case, just this past Sunday. And over at Midway, 52 agents have tested positive so far. Starting on Tuesday, Midway Airport says they will have drive up COVID testing that will be available to the general public. Now, the city of Chicago has separately said they are hoping to provide COVID testing at both O'Hare and Midway airports. This would be available to passengers and employees. They're hoping to get this up and running ahead of the December holiday travel season. Reporting live from O'Hare, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.